Here I am in on shape. I've got my new blank document all set up, my blank part studio all set up. So what I want to do first before I do anything in on shape is I want to actually measure my dice that I'm going to be using. Right here. So I got some dice. I'm going to roll them. Hey, let's use that one right there. All right. So for this assignment, or for anything in on shape, you can do it in inches or millimeters. For this assignment, we're going to be doing it in millimeters just because it's going to be a little bit easier right here. So I'm going to write at the top of my paper, my unit is millimeters. And that's just to remind me that, hey, I'm working in millimeters. Now I'm just going to quickly take a couple of measurements on here just to make it easier once we go into on shape. Um, so I'm just making a really rough drawing of a dice right here. So let's just doesn't have to be anything pretty. Here's a three-dimensional cube right here. Got one. Beautiful, right? Not pretty, it's just a sketch, real quick sketch for me to help me out. So let's take some measurements. Now if I'm measuring this, I can use a ruler because it's a cube, it's pretty flat, it's pretty easy to do. But since this is a three-dimensional object, I'm going to get in the habit of using my calipers. So take your calipers, put it in there, make sure it's held well in those calipers. So remember with the calipers, you've got a couple different ways that you can measure. I can measure the outside dimension of something like that and then get my reading. I can measure the inside, which might be useful for getting that little circle right there, those are called pips, if you needed to know that. Um, so that might be helpful for that. On the other side, I've got the little depth measurement. That might be helpful for getting the depth of those. Um, but right now, let's just get the outside measurement. And let's jot that down. So I'm going to grab that. All right here, let's zoom in a little bit. Or let's zoom in a lot of it. So looking at my calipers, I've got inches on the top, but we're going to use millimeters. So let's look at our millimeters at the bottom. So I can see where the zero line is lined up. This is with this one right here. So remember the numbers are in centimeters. So I got 5, 10, 15, 16 millimeters. So, 16 millimeters. Let's jot that down on our sketch real quick. Sixteen millimeters. You can write millimeters or you can leave it off because we already wrote it up there. Draw our little dimension lines. I could take this, I could turn it and measure it again. I could turn it and measure the depth. I know it's a cube. You know it's a cube. Let's just assume it's a cube. So that means that this side's also going to be 16. And that also means that the depth over here is going to be 16. So 16 by 16 by 16 millimeters. Let's measure the size of one of these pips. Let's go about right there. It's kind of in between three and four millimeters. So for this one, let's just call it three. Let's just round to the nearest millimeter because we're not going to get into anything smaller than a millimeter. So this circle right here, so I could say like from here to there is three. Or since that's a circle, we want to actually call that the diameter. So the diameter of that circle is 3 millimeters. Uh, what else can we do? I mean, we know that this, how about our one side? We know that this is in the very center. So we know that the very center from here to here is going to be half of 16. So we know that that's going to be 8. We know that from there to there is going to be 8. Uh, we'll see what other dimensions we need along the way. But let's go ahead and start getting this all set up here. 
So here we are back in uh, Onshape. Now, we want to make sure we are working in millimeters. When we set up Onshape, we probably set the default to inches. That's fine, because every time it's always good to get in the habit of just setting it up so you know what you're going to be doing. So before we do anything, let's make sure we're working in millimeters. Up here at the top, document menu button. We want to make sure our workspace units are in millimeters. And hit the checkbox. Right. So again, the little option, workspace units, our default length unit is in millimeters. Uh, you can leave all the rest. We're not really going to be dealing with decimals. We probably won't be dealing with degrees or anything. So just hit the check mark. So now we're in millimeters. We're good to go. So let's make our first shape right here. So this is a cube. In on shape, and with most CAD software, um, there's ways to just kind of make a cube. But once you start getting into more complex shapes, uh, what, you can, what you're going to do is you start with a two-dimensional shape and then you bring that out into three dimensions. So just as a quick example, I'm going to sketch. I'm going to draw right here. Uh, I'm going to just make a circle real quick. And let's make it that a cylinder. So a cylinder is a circle that's been pulled out into three dimensions. So I've made my circle. Don't do this, I'm just showing you. And then I'm going to extrude it. And I'm going to click on my circle and bring that out into three dimensions. There you go. So that's how most of 3D modeling works in CAD. You start with your two dimensions, and then you make it three dimensions. So I'm going to undo that. Control Z on my keyboard. Just like everything, every other program, Control Z, undo. All right. So. I've got my X, Y, and my Z axes right here. I've got my three planes right here. So you can kind of turn them on and off right here to see them. We're just going to leave them on because that way we know where we are. This little dot right here in the center, that's my origin. So if you have your X and Y axes, that zero, zero point is your origin. When you have your X, Y, and Z axes, that zero, zero, zero point is your origin. So that's the very, very center of what I'm doing. Uh, I'm making a cube so I can really draw anywhere on here, but it's a good idea to get in the habit starting early. We know that this is our center point, so let's make that the very middle of our cube, of our dice. So, sketch. How do we draw things? Use the sketch to draw things. So hit the sketch button. Most things we do, there's only going to be four or five buttons that on this whole screen that we'll use. So hit the sketch button up here. Click. It's going to say, select a sketch plane. So where do we want to draw? We want to draw. We can draw in any one of these. Uh, let's pick this one. So you're going to click it. And then you'll notice when you click it, all of these buttons become active. Um, so you know, don't do this, but I could draw some circles, I could draw some arcs, I could draw some rectangles. Beautiful. You can draw whatever shape you want to draw. Undo, undo. But we want to draw a rectangle. Now we could just grab a rectangle, this corner rectangle, and try to get it close. But if we're at a computer doing CAD modeling, Let's not get close, so let's get exact. So we want to make sure it's in the very center. Now if you look at every one of these tools, some of them, I'm going to undo that, some of them have this little down arrow right here. What that means is that there's more options. So when I click on my rectangle, I have different options of how to draw a rectangle. Well, there's more than one way to draw a rectangle. The default is this corner rectangle, where I draw from one corner to the other corner. So if I did that, I would draw from one corner to the other corner. It's a rectangle. Undo. 
The other one, however, is the one we're going to use a lot for this one, is the center point rectangle. So we're going to click on that one. And what that does is your first point is that center. The second point is the corner. And you see with all these tools, if you just leave your mouse over it, a little box will pop up saying, hey, create a rectangle using a center point and corner. Click to indicate the center starting point. OK. Click to indicate the end corner point. OK. So I want to draw a square that's 16 by 16 with my very center point on this origin. Now, when you first hit sketch, I'm looking at this at kind of a weird angle. I want to look straight onto this piece right here. And that's what they call normal or normal view. So if I press N on my keyboard, N for normal, you see it rotated that. So I'm looking now directly at whatever I'm drawing. What normal is, so you have a plane, like say this piece of cardboard is my plane. Normal is just like if I'm looking straight at it. Like imagine if I had a board and I just threw a dart at it. That's normal to that plane. So if it's shaped this way, that's my normal. Shaped this way, that's my normal. You don't need to worry about that. That's like calculus two or three or something. But just know that if I press the end button, it will look at it with my normal view. All right. So sketch, pick my plane. Yeah, let's start that over. Sketch, pick my plane, press N for normal view. That's kind of your starting point for just about everything. And then let's draw our 16 by 16 square. So we're going to use the center point rectangle. Our center point is going to be the origin, so we're going to click on that. And then we're going to move. Now I can zoom in. You can try to get 16 by 16, but it's near impossible. So just get close. You can see the numbers. Like you can see the width there. So I'm just going to kind of get close. doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to click again. So now you can see this box right here is highlighted, that 14.159. I don't want that. I want 16, so I'm going to go to my keyboard. I'm going to write 1, 6, hit Enter. Now that's exactly 16, and you see that 15.816 is highlighted. I'm going to type in 1, 6, Enter. Now I have a perfect 16 by 16 millimeter square. I'm done with that sketch. I want to check, say, hey, I'm done, and you can see I have a new sketch over here. Then, if I look at this, that's just a square, but I want to make a cube. So I'm going to take that square, that two-dimensional square, and make it three-dimensional with this extrude button. So I'm going to hit extrude. I'm just going to say, I'm going to say, what do I want to extrude? So I'm going to click on my shape. And I want to extrude it 16 millimeters. If I hit tab, it'll go to a different box. So that's a 16 by 16 by 16 cube. But remember, I want to make this in the middle. So I have different options. See this symmetric? So when I hit that symmetric button, it's going to make it go 8 one way and 8 the other way. So I have 16 by 16 by 16 with my zero point in that very center. So we've got a cube.